Ragna Twardosh. Just preparing herself on the bar. Yellow light is on, so the counter is going. And now she's on green. She's got 10 seconds to go. Doesn't need anywhere near that sort of time. She launches off the end of the slope. And that is a good jump. Almost made it to the K point. And a good landing as well. And you see how explosive that squat was as she stood up and went through the air. And that distance, 85.5 for the pole. Yeah, 100.6. That puts her into second place behind Machiko Kubota. of Poland, twice Polish national champion, member of their national senior team, hugely experienced, high hopes are resting on her for a medal in this competition. Nice launch off the slope and a good length as well. Good telemark landing. Now what do the judges make of that? Her distance was 86.5, so just uh, a little short of the K point. Oh, that, uh, that right ski going a little bit wide. That'll cost her a few points. But her points, 102.5, put her into second place. Polish athletes yet to go. 73 meters she jumped in training about an hour ago coach waiting for what little breeze there is to settle she's happy with it and she got 80.5 so that is a huge improvement on her training jump keeping the hands out to the sides vitally important if you get if you start waving your hands around apart from being marked down on points you also start breaking and that slows you down 95.5 points for Paulina and that puts her into fourth place overall so we have almost finished this round the last athlete to go is Nicole Konderla of Poland represents Katowice Sports Club. They'll be cheering the 21-year-old on as she launches herself off the slope. Looking good and a really good long jump as well. Nice style, nice landing, a great distance, 90.5, the furthest jump yet. And surely that's good enough to put a top. few 17.5s and 17s from the judges and total points of 117.2 and that does put her top and gives her a nine point advantage going into the second round. Those are the standings then, confirmation of the points and the positions with Kondela of Poland in first, Kubota or in second, so that was with the last and the first jumpers of that round. Uh, then we've got Poland in third and fourth and fifth. Kara Larson of the USA, best placed American in sixth. And at the other end, two Japanese, Mizuki Sato and uh, Fushigeta, and then Anna Ziegman. But now we're getting to the busy end of the uh, standings. Paulina. Schiesler of Poland 
one of the first of four Polish athletes yet to go. Currently sitting fifth overall. Good jump, short of the K line, but uh, K point, I should say, but really good jump. 85 meters. So she has managed to add five meters onto her first round jump. And the judges like the style as well. And I think that's going to be enough to put her top of the standings. Yes, it is 195.5. So by some distance, uh, Larson in second is at 178.2. So Paulina Cisla of Poland doing really well on that final jump. Right, we're into the top four from the first round. This is where we expect the medals to be decided. First to go, Anna Twardos. She jumped 85.5 in the first round. Oh, that's a big one. Lands on that red line. Now, the all important judges points are gonna matter. She held it together well, didn't she? Good position, always in control. 90, she was given 90 meters, landed exactly on that red line. That was a 90 meter jump, so an excellent job for 206.9, she goes top of the leaderboard. Kinga Rajda of Poland to go next. Now she managed 86.5 meters. She's got 102.5 points. She's going to need to get more than that to match Twardos now. Oh, and another good jump from the Polish athlete, Kinga Rajda. I think that was beyond the K point. Oh no, it's been given just under 89.5 meters. The judges looking at that style, they want to see the legs absolutely straight, the toes bent upwards at the ankles. Landing. It's got to be a telemark landing. It wasn't quite. One foot should be further ahead than the other. But Kinga Rajda has got enough points to put her top of the standings. Kinga Rajda of Poland is silver and Anna Schwadosh is third, the other pole. So can Nicole Kandela hold her nerve and repeat the terrific jump she did in the first round? The pressure is immense. Nicole Kunderla jumps for the gold medal. Just behind that 90 meter line, will it be long enough? It was dead on 90 meters, that's the official distance. Let's just have a look at that style. It's looking good, the judges I think will like that. But will it be enough points to put her top? She's waiting for the scores to come up as we are. 231.6. Nicole Kunderla of Poland wins the gold medal. What a terrific performance. Two jumps of 90 meters. One, in fact, 90.5. And the judges liked her style. And she wins this women's Normal Hill individual by a good eight points or so. Nicole Kundula of Poland, gold medal for her. 
Japan take the silver through Machiko Kubota. And then another Polish medal, the bronze for Kinga Rashda in third. There's the confirmation and also the confirmation of the points and you can see just how far ahead. Uh, Nicole was so a really really impressive performance from our winning pole but it takes nothing away from the Chica Kubota who also put in some great jumps and to score 116.7 in that final round Kubota actually won that uh, final round on points that's how close it was just missing out 